Hello and welcome back to another episode of me watching me do things on TV for the first time reaction video thing. Yep, that's what I'm calling it. Anyway, last time I did this was with Vice Gunda, and now we're going to do no, my foreign eye. So I was on there competing on my foreign eye, which is a segment of Eat Bulliga. I've never seen it before, just like all these other clips, and I'm gonna watch it first time now. So let's get right into it. Shall we? This happened 2019, September 18th. Yeah, Eat Bulliga, my foreign eye. We are. I have no idea what they're saying, so... Here are our Your My Four Noise for today. How long is this episode? 26 minutes. Okay. Hi there, Philippines. My name is James Khan, and I'm from Australia. Wow. Now, the reason I turned up in the Philippines is I represented Australia in Mr. International in 2016 and Thank also you. Men of the World in uh, 2017. That's I was actually only meant to come here for three months but ended up staying here for two years. That's largely because of my family. They're very supportive and they really wanted me to go try out the Philippines. My hobbies here are wakeboarding, which is really cool, and I'm a bit of a movie buff. And it wasn't even me wakeboarding, buff, that was me diving. <laughs> one of my goals here in the Philippines, I wish to be an actor. Hope my wishes come true and my dreams and whatnot. But I am James Khan and I am your foreign oil from Australia. Shake your camera. Thank you very much. Like this. You're number two. Yes. Look at my coconuts. Look at my coconuts. Ooh. Coconut gang. Magandang Tangali, Filipinas! Magandang Tangali. Welcome to see James Khan. I'm 24, Taga, Australia, Ako. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, cheer for me. Yeah. Nah, no, no one cares about foreign oil numbers. Actually, this is Kuya, he's really cool. And from Australia. Wait, me and Kuya went up against each other. But I thought only one person proceeds to the finals, and I proceeded to the finals. What the hell? Wait, did I do another one before this? No, because there's the grand finals there. Oh, well, let's just watch it. Oi! Haha! <laughs> let's collect some coconuts. Oh, that frame rate. What's happening? Yeah, wipe back your hair. Whoa, go on. So, if you're not Filipino and you're watching this, this is a traditional Filipino dance where the men would clack their coconuts and I basically had one day to learn this routine but well, I'll explain that more later after I'm finished clacking my coconuts these guys I was dancing with they're pretty funny pretty funny guys I'm pretty sure I do a flip in this one Okay, that was it. <laughs> wow! Thank you! Coconut King! Hi, James! Hello! Do you know the what do I say? Of that dance? The name of the dance? What's it called? Um, my friends and I call it Happy Joy Time Island Coconut Dance. I remember that because I couldn't remember the bloody name of the coconut dance and I still can't. I am sorry. That's so embarrassing. In Tagalog? No. Happy joy dance. To give perspective, I learned this the day before. They, when it comes to auditions, so you know how on the show, how they're saying, hey, come to auditions. So one day I check my phone and it says, hey, audition for job type thing at this TV station. So I go there, and I'm like, hi, I'm here for this audition. And they kind of just look at me and they go, yep, you've got it, start rehearsal now, you're performing tomorrow. 
that's legit how it happened. And they're like, okay, what talents you got? I'm like, what? They're like, can you sing? No. Can you dance? Yeah, I can try that. And basically they asked what ones I wanted to do. So I, out of all these traditional dances, I'm like, let's go with the coconut one. Um, so we can have some fun with that. And they said, we're going to teach you. And when I had about two, two, three, four hours that day, and this was the next day where I performed it. At the time. This is why I don't watch okay. myself. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Yes. Yeah. I've actually had these coconuts on me before when I did um, Man of the World competition. Uh, we're all just partying on like this beach. And yeah, they gave us a traditional coconut. So us guys tried them on and that's actually why I picked this one. Because I remember it. Mr. International. Mr. International. Which is a pageant, male pageant. And I got a lot of love. A lot of love from the Philippines. Okay. And I was like, where, where are true. these people? So eventually I made friends with Miguel Gear, who is Mr. Philippines. Okay. Um, okay. And, um, Miguel. Eventually uh, I went back home. But my family really supported me and told me, go try the Philippines. Just three months. Okay. You'll love it. And how long have you been here? Over now? two years. What? <laughs> <laughs> three months now, two years. Yes. You're overstaying. I know. Hello, I've been to a lot of places, but I can't remember names. I'm really bad with names. Them, like, but but a the lot. main one I want to go to, I still haven't gone to, is El Nito. Okay. That's my next one. I'm actually still haven't gone to El Nito. Oh, wow. For my second time, yes. I've been near El Nito. Yeah. <laughs> but I haven't have gone there. Found... Hey, James, you've been here for two, year two years now. You have no excuse not to know any Tagalog words. Do you know what the Tagalog <laughs> words do you know by now? Maganda. Maganda. Okay. Guapo. Guapo. Charot. Charot. <laughs> I remember that. Because I was like, what am Charot I going to say? And they're going to ask me style. this. Maganda. You're guapo. Yes. Me is the Charot. Isa oh. Talawa. Tatlo. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's very. Uh, we'll teach you one more. Okay, yes. get out. But we'd like you to try out saying it on your own first. Go ahead. Hmm. What is that? Hum, bro. Hum al, hum a, al imu yak. Hum mana hal le manak yak. What? I know. I don't think that word's been invented yet, James. Slowly, one, slowly, one more slowly. Time. Okay. I don't know why I could get this. Even if um, they told me beforehand, I wouldn't have guessed this. Mu. <laughs> no. We say Puma Halimuya. Oh, that's oh come cool. on. So far away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You're what? close. You're close anyway. Not really. Puma Halimuya. What do you think? Puma Halimuya. What do you think it means? There. I think I'm never going to say that word again. Uh, James, a real Filipino knows how to ride a jeepney. Have you done that before? I have. Oh, really? Many times, yeah. actually. Yes. yes. It's okay. hard not to ride the jeepney after two okay. years. So. How would you ride a jeepney and ask for a support? I haven't rode a jeepney in a I while though. I very desperately. <laughs> no, I... Ah... Uh, so what happened is they actually told me... If you didn't realize, like, these other contestants, if you watch the show, the other contestants are actually really good in Tagalog and they understand it, but I'm terrible. Not that I haven't tried to learn, I have. I'm just terrible at other languages and learning Tagalog. And they told me beforehand what words to say. But I just, they just blew over my mind. They're like, say this. And I'm like, okay. And then you're on stage, you're performing, and you have thousands of questions, and that word just goes Meh! right out of your brain. You know that, that so I'm just, I'm just improvising. Oh, I'm kuya. sorry. Kuya, 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 kuya. Then it goes, boom. Pamasahe. Yeah, bump, that's what they told me to say. Only need I'm a Literally trying to tell me words to say right now. I'm trying to lip read like what? <laughs> because they would, they would, yeah. They're like, we'll tell you what to say. I can't hear them over all this honking. You can't. Oh, it's so cringy. Did I get it right? See, I have no idea if I'm getting these words right. I'm guessing that means can I have my change? See, you can hear her. In this bit, she's trying to tell me what to say. John! I'm just, I'm just having so much trouble here. Poor me. Poor me. I have no idea what's going on. 
Because when they get you to do this stuff, it is really pre-scripted. They just say, oh, you're going to perform, they're going to interview you, and then you're going to play like a little skit game. And it really helps if you understand what they're actually saying in Tagalog. So me, it's just someone speaking a foreign language to me asking me to do stuff. I did my best. Thank you very much, Black I did my best. And thank you very much, James. Thank you, James. Alright, be gone, James. Go sit in the corner. But yeah, that was actually quicker than I thought. Um, I think they cut a bit of it from the TV segment. I remember they did like eliminations. There was actually, I think, three people in that round, but one got eliminated, and me and Kuya got sent to the finals, uh, where I do the sin kill dance, another performance. But that was the first preliminary round. I can do English great. And then we went on to the grand finals. But that's it for today. Much shorter than I thought. Let's play a little game, shall we? Um, if you go past this point, caution. If you are watching this on a phone in the Philippines, you have to subscribe. Nah, you already watched this bit, you have to do it. And if you're not from the Philippines, just consider giving a like. But I'll catch you in the next one uh, where I watch the grand finals dance for the very first time. And I'll see you next time. Bye.